Cancer, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. Today, we're gonna be doing general readings for y'all, and we can just go ahead and get started. See what's going on in your current energy. What's going on in um, Cancer's current energy? Anything she wants, she can get it, or anything he wants, he can get it. Okay. <laughs> Why is that there? Strings attached. Cancer, somebody could have messed up with you. They could have made a mistake. Maybe stepped out on you, cheated or something like that. Um, again, take what resonates and leave them the rest. I'm just going to read what I see here. Um... Somebody really loves you, but they could have fucked up and made a mistake. Let's see here. That card is coming out for everybody. One life. Some of y'all could be getting over some type of sickness. Or healing from some type of sickness. Maybe you could be stressing right now. Jealous here with tragedy and Somebody could have made an impulsive decision, like just did some stupid shit. Even if this person didn't cheat, somebody could have been like um, communicating with like an ex or something like that and they got caught up. Or they could have been just thinking about an ex or you could have caught them looking at somebody's page or something like that on social media. But whoever this person is, they really jealous of you because they feel like the relationship between you and your person ended quick. And this person never got over whatever happened between you, your person, and them. So it's like they still searching for answers. They still want to know why they didn't choose them. This person is still trying to be in the mix. Still trying to be in the picture because they still want to be with your person. But whoever this person is, it's like they bore your person. You and this, Your person and whoever this is don't really have much to talk about no more. It's like it's nothing really there. But they are still wishing for something to come out of this. So it's like now your person is trying to make it up to you. And it's like they want to buy you gifts and shit now. Or let you know that you can get anything you want. But, I mean, it's strings attached because they want to really apologize to you and make it up to you. But they don't know how to do it. So your person is going crazy right now. They can't believe, like, what the fuck is going on. Like, damn, my person mad at me. They angry at me. Somebody is really, like, losing their fucking shit right now. Some of y'all just can't believe that your person would even play with you like this or do some shit like this. You like, damn, like, you really would just fuck, fuck with me like this or do this? This part, yeah, somebody, this person could have, like, cheated or had sex with somebody else or just did some really stupid shit. But it's like, now they thinking about it, like, damn, I really fucked up. Like, I can't believe I did that shit. Pull out game strong. So this person, they use or they try to protect themselves sexually while dealing with whoever this person is. But it's like, now they trying to do the right thing. Whoever this person is, they in secret competition with you anyway. But your person 
deals with this person or your person associates with this person because this person allows them to be the lowest version of themselves. That's all this person ever had in common with this other person was the fact that this other person allowed them to do whatever they wanted. This is the type of person that's okay with being on the side because as long as you as long as you come see me, it's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. This person allows them to be the worst version of themselves. And it's like now your person is thinking about it like, damn, how could I fuck up like this? Whoever that side person is, it's like they they steady compare themselves to you. This person can't afford their own home right now. They could be going through financial issues. They could be broke right now. And it's like the only thing they really have to offer is sex. And that's the only thing that they really trying to get from your person. It's like to, to irritate you. Um, scam likely you're robbed for some of y'all this person could have your person could have actually took some money from this person or they could have like did this for money this person be spending money and shit on them. Like, it's like they don't really have it to spend or they really don't have the, the money, the finances, but they make it seem like they do. They try to act like they got it like that or like they balling and shit like that, but it's really a scam. They really plan. They really lying. And it's like your person really don't do shit but take money from this person and then stop talking to them. Yeah, your person really don't want you to leave them behind. Stay in my corner. Yeah, your person ain't lacking. Whoever this is that they fucked around with, this person thought, okay, well, if I sleep with them, maybe I'll be able to get them to be with me or get them to leave you alone. And it didn't work. They little plan backfired on them. Whatever they did, they thought that they was going to get this person away from you. No, love don't equal sex. So this person, all this little shit that they did ain't do shit but turn around and smack them dead in the, dead the fuck in the face. Like, you thought wrong. She won't let me go. This person won't let your person go. Now your person can't sleep because it's like they waiting on you. They really want to hear from you. Whoever this is, they a sneaky link. They watch your social media all day long because they want to know what you do well what do they do let me try to figure out what they got going on so i can compete with them whoever this person is it's like they heavily competing with you they want to compare themselves to you they want to do what you do for some of y'all this person could be trying to get your person to like uh they could be trying to like trap your person or trap your person up but your person ain't fucking with it they not on that shit I don't like shit like that. Your person like anything you want, you can get. Not them, the fuck. Okay, 
Tell me more. Last three cups here. Yeah, this third party thought that they was going to win some type of prize. They thought that they was going to win your person. <laughs> they really thought they was going to win your person over, but your person is not. You was just a fuck. They was a fuck. That's what they was. Not you, Cancer, but this person was. Your person already know, like, you are not the one for me. I will never fuck with you in that type of way. See, they thought that they could have your person stuck, but they have a hard time getting them to um see things they weigh. You could be younger than your person. Some of y'all could be talking bad to your person right now. You like, fuck that, fuck you. I'm finna say whatever the fuck I need to say because some of y'all already felt this going on behind your back. You already intuitively knew that it was happening and it's like it was making you paranoid a little bit. Like, damn, are you fucking fucking around on me or am I tripping? No, you're not crazy. Some of y'all talk bad to your person. Some of y'all could be expecting or you could just be the mother of this person's child. This is your twin flame. We got the emperor and the empress out here. Y'all could be done waiting on this situation. You feel like this person handled things the wrong way. Some of y'all could be looking to like deal with somebody else. Some of y'all are choosing to take things slow. It's like you, you, you're trying to figure out what it is that you want to do about this situation or what you need to do. Some of y'all could feel like, well, damn, if I choose to walk away from you, then I'm going to be losing my family. I'm going to be losing everything. Some of y'all, your, your father may not like this person or somebody doesn't like this person that you're with. You can also feel like somebody, some of y'all could be reaching out to somebody. Clarify that. Some of y'all want to ease your mind. You like, I want to know everybody that you was dealing with. Some of y'all may feel like this person was dealing with more than one, more than one person. Or it's like the person that you feel like they're dealing with. Some of y'all may have reached out to this person. It could have been like something that happened in the past between you and your person to where... They could have dealt with somebody else and that situation made you mad. And it's like you still didn't get the full answers when it came to that situation either. So you could be like 
reaching out to somebody on social media or something to figure out what's going on. You're trying to avoid having to do all of this. You like, I'm trying to avoid having to do all this, but I really need to know before I just, before I stop working on the situation, I really need to know who else you said something to or who else you gave an offer to. Cause a lot of y'all are, um, somebody's really angry about the betrayal. Yeah, you're getting ready to let a situation go. You like, I'm done with it. I'm done dealing with third party situations. I'm dropping this shit. If you can't be com if you can't commit to me or you non-committal when we have a family together, I'm over it. Some of y'all, this person really was your wish fulfillment. This was somebody that you could be married to or you could have learned a lot from. And you thought things would go great with this person, but they just was fucking up. Some of y'all could be a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, Libra. Hmm. You ready to heal. You ready to get past something because you feel like you just cannot heal from a situation. You ready to wrap up this cycle, end it. You done taking leaps of faith towards things that hurt you. Y'all don't have y'all emotions involved anymore. Y'all like, I'm done. I just want to invest into things that are good for me. Invest in things that, that go right for me or well for me. Somebody's giving up. Yeah, some of y'all are just turning somebody down. You like, damn, I wish I would have never gave you this engagement. Or some of y'all could be married to this person or just in a relationship. Which I like, damn, I'm not I'm not doing this no more. I don't want this commitment no more. You like maybe you're not right for me. Some of y'all are choosing to have faith that it, it that it could be somebody else that will come into your life, new love. You ready to make healthy choices with your life and to get into something stable. Yeah, we got the snake out here. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Yeah, y'all feel like this person dealing with a lot of people. You like you got this person over here. How many other people you dealing with? You don't even feel heartbroken no more. It's like you tired of feeling shocked over certain shit. You tired of finding out shit. You like, I just don't want it no more. I don't care how many people you dealt with. I just don't want this. Tell me about the snake. Some of y'all, this person could be uh, this enemy or whoever this person is could be taking this your person to court. And they could be doing it to get some money out of this person because they feel like your person didn't want a relationship with them. So they could be trying to get payback. They act like they work at a job that they love or that they don't need your person's money. But that's exactly what they're trying to do. Steal your person money. <laughs> Or for some of y'all, this person act like they got it like that. Like they got a good ass job or I'm just making this. I got this much money. And your person robbing their ass. Yeah, some of y'all, y'all person could be robbing this person or just taking from their ass a lot. Baby, that's no type of life. They want to be on the side so bad.
What's the advice for cancer? I may feel like the person that you're dealing with really don't want to show the best parts of themselves to you. Like they keep fucking up or self-sabotaging a relationship. It's like this person, you know, you feel in your heart that this person is meant for you. But you don't feel safe in this connection. You done being mad. You done giving to this situation. You just, you don't even want to have sex with this person no more. You get to the point where you just want to resist the relationship because... You really love them. It wasn't about lust for you. And yes, this person is fucking it up with you because a lot of y'all are very good people. Go where you feel safe, Cancer. It's a lot of secrets that's coming out about your person. Or it's just a lot of secrets coming out in general. Some of y'all could be secrets even coming out within your family. Go where you appreciate it. Cancer, go where you know your worth. A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are worth so much more, and it's like it's a lot of people out here that will see that side of you, and they will appreciate that side of you. Some of y'all have so much to give and so many cups to pour into. All you gotta do is release what's hurting you, release what's toxic in your life. Go towards the things that you want because you can, you can find a situation that makes you happy. You don't have to deal with somebody that continuously hurts you. You don't have to allow yourself to be wounded by a situation. A lot of y'all are refusing to surrender or refusing to let go. Once you let go, all of those wounds will be healed. Don't ever think you can't recover from some, from some bullshit because you can. It's time for y'all to live out loud. Be who you are and love on yourself. And that's when the right person going to walk into your life. That's what I got for y'all, Cancer. Thank you for watching, y'all. Make sure you hit that like button. And turn on your notification bell so you can see um, new uploads, y'all. Bye, Cancer.